Welcome to a new part of Chemistry Made Simple. Today we will talk about graphene oxide and graphene and what does this have to do with graphite. Well, we all know graphite uh, as a component of pencils and it consists of stacked layers of carbon atoms. They are embedded within six membered rings and it is unsaturated with conjugated olefins. Well, it reminds us of aromatic systems like benzene, naphthalene and perylene. Rather stable because aromatic systems are especially stable. What is graphene? Graphene sheets are monolayers of graphite and the first to isolate those were the researchers Gein and Novoselov in the year 2004. They won the Nobel Prize then in 2010. How did they do it? Well, they took scotch tape, two sheets of scotch tape, put some graphite in between, teared those carefully apart, far more carefully than I am doing it now, and then put on new scotch tape and tear it again apart and again and again. And finally, there has to be a mono layer uh, remaining. And they were able to prove that, for instance, by measuring conductivity and so on. It is a rather interesting material. So, what about graphene oxide? What is that? Also, graphene oxide is not a well-defined certain molecule. It has various sizes, just as a graphene sheet, and then the graphene sheets are oxidized with strong oxidizing agents, transferring oxygen then, for instance, as andro peroxide, as epoxides, maybe some hydroxyl groups, some hydro peroxides. Here is also a phenol, a phenol functionality. Well, how can one prove that there is some graphene, this is not easy, at least not spectroscopically. You can try that with Raman spectroscopy, that is uh, shooting with a laser beam on that uh, probe and you will receive a certain spectrum. However, it's not easy to distinguish such graphene material from graphite, of course. And moreover, one can make a lot of mistakes. If you shoot with too much energy of a laser beam onto an organic probe, well, at the end, carbon will remain and will show a very similar Raman spectra as graphene would do. Thanks for listening.